Welcome to another episode of Ninja Infusions Kitchen. Today we're preparing scotch egg. I've got eggs here, boiled egg, five boiled egg. I've got breadcrumbs over here. This is what breadcrumbs looks like. You can make your own breadcrumbs if you haven't got one. It's so easy. All you need to do is toast some bread. Um, once it's cooled down, blend it in the food processor. I've got a little bit of flour here and two eggs over here. I've also got um, ground pork cinnamon garlic granules chili flake as well as mixed herbs these are the ingredients there that one as well as the chili flake so let's get started the first thing we need to do is mix all of these into the ingredient while you're doing this make sure you've got your oil ready for frying because you need your um the temperature of your oil to be up to 170 degrees centigrade this is very messy to be quite honest it's a very very messy making scotch egg is the most messiest thing you can ever do it's so messy <laughs> so um i like to infuse herbs into the into the, the taste to give it very nice taste don't just buy any pork if you buy pork already from the shop what you do and it's got casing what you do is take out the casing that way you are able to use the the pork you can use beef as well you can use ground chicken you can use turkey it's basically up to you how you want to use it just make sure it's thoroughly mixed in and no ingredients is lacking out always really, always make sure that you wash your hands as well it's so important remember you can find us at ninjainfusions.com and as well as on instagram awesome dishes facebook ninja infusions twitter awesome dishes with additional s at the end we're catering company here in the united kingdom we're based in battersea so you can always find us if you come in on holiday or you're having a party or catering event whatever just give us a ring we'll be able to um, assist you with all your with all your catering so once it's all mixed get your hands washed and we move on to the next stage what i like to do is cook because i've got five eggs what i'm gonna do is split this into five because i want it to be enough so i start by cutting this is really messy scotch egg is so messy to make is the most messiest thing you can ever make honestly so when you split it it makes it easier for you to know what you're doing okay so once it's split we're gonna begin the process just to make the time go faster what i've done is just done that that way you guys are not sitting and wondering oh god how long is this gonna take like watching chuck dry so basically what you do is flatten the the mince and the pork mince you then make sure that you evenly coat it to be covered like i did to this one make sure there's no white bits showing you can always leave comments ask some question which i would act um happily answer you have to make sure everything is covered no space left out Right. so what we do next is go from the flour to the egg wash to the um, breadcrumbs that's the next step and once that is done what we do is start frying so we go from flour I try not to put hand in the egg until I'm ready, otherwise the whole thing is just pure disaster and mess. Pure, pure disaster. And then I want to try and make the video as short as possible because when, once it's too long, it becomes another headache. So, egg wash. We have to do this process twice. Breadcrumbs. egg wash breadcrumbs okay i told you guys it was messy all right so we just repeat this process 
for the remaining ones all the coated egg um scotch eggs did i say egg roll if i said so please forgive me it's scotch eggs oh god my brain so i've got my oil eat it up already i love to use the fryer it makes life 1000 times better than using um what's it called frying pan or deep fryer or, um yeah fry pan so before you put it in just give it another press down don't fry things in cold oil it doesn't make sense you won't be doing the you won't be doing it any favor make sure give it a good i avoid making scotch eggs because they're very messy it's a messy 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 business so we're gonna fry this for about three to four minutes now you don't drop things like this you have to go gently while you're dropping stuff into hot oil okay how beautiful it's coming nice isn't it looks so good so i'm gonna put that back i don't want it to soak up oil coming together i'm gonna leave it to brown out a little bit and then we'll take it out of the fryer i just need it to brown out for a little bit more all done so you're gonna repeat the same process for the remaining two so that's an example this one split open that means i didn't um cover it properly but you know what the rest are fantastic it's very hot don't touch hot stuff so i'm gonna get on and fry this and then we serve we have our scotch eggs you can add as many as you want to the plate i've just chosen to add that much so thank you so much for for watching i'm so glad you guys stopped by ninjainfusions.com any other recipe you want me to put up please feel free to leave the comment you have to remember there's a difference between homemade and shop bought when you're doing it your whole in your own home you know what's going into your food and you can improvise add more spices if you need to this is just basic instru instructions if you want to add some more seasoning to your pork or whatever feel free to add it remember ninjainfusions.com drop a comment remember to subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend we're always here for you ninjainfusions.com info at ninjainfusions.com instagram awesome dishes thank you so much for watching god bless you and see you next time bye